NFL 23 on EA Sports. And we have Stefan Gilmore. But this is what she was made for, NFL football, and that's what we have today in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This one fielded at the 5. And able to get this out to the 25. Here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team. Tenth overall in the NFL, Ryan Tannehill. There were a few eyebrows raised when Tennessee took Malik Willis in the third round this year, but rest assured, Ryan Tannehill is still the man in Tennessee after leading the Titans to the top seed in the AFC last season. His 12 wins were the most he's posted in nine seasons as an NFL starter. And he's only the third quarterback to lead the Titans to three playoff appearances in the NFL, joining Steve McNair and Warren Moon. They run with a big man in his seventh season. It's Derrick Henry. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Second down, they go again with Henry. They find some open field here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10 from the gun. They'll try to run it. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. His throw incomplete. How about that, Red Man? Coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Tannehill. And that is incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Out onto the field comes the Colts offense for their first series. And at quarterback, a new name this year to the franchise, of course, but certainly not new to the league. A 15-year vet, former league MVP, Matt Ryan. And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Head interception. Pick. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. On third down, Ryan. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. He'll take it at the 42.
A nice run back there off the good run. It's a 16-yard return. And the Titans are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over first and 10. A first down carry for Henry. Down inside the 40. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23 yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. The Titans at a disappointing one and four as they start play. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week. And usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get your fresh legs back, you have to take that time and run with it. And that's what they're trying to get done here. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive. Well, a throw for Pittman is intercepted. Picked up by Kevin Farley. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. Titans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Bullet good on the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get sent to take over. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Up the middle, here's Taylor. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. 
Bud Dupree, a former first-round pick, in on the stop. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0 our score. From just shy of midfield, Ryan. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. And this will be taken at the 13. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it'll be Titan football. Derrick Henry and the rest of the Titans offense about ready to roll again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable. And really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here. Because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. He's going to look downfield for Henry. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. 62 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. On first and ten, Tannehill. He's going to look downfield for Henry. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and ten. Now Tannehill. And caught by Henry. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown. Touchdown number 70. And the Titans will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. The penalty is declined. Now Bullock to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was finished off on the touchdown reception by Derrick Henry. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Colts going to take over now late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Over the middle, hauled in by Pierce. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And that's on the tackle, Braden Smith. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. To throw is Ryan. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got out the field, brought the punting situation. So they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense off the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. So we've reached halftime here in Nashville. The, the second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half. Let's do it.
Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Colts getting the football first, and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. And they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It's fielded at the 45. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. He stopped the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the deep. Touchdown, Titans! Three touchdown passes now for Ryan Tannehill as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and the lead is now 24. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it back. They need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. He was unable to shake three there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. But how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there in this passing game. It just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Now it's Ryan. Throw left side taken in by Pittman. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And take it right on the 30. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. 
A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. Tannehill, and it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And they'll get him to the ground, and he has another first down at the Colts' 38-yard line. Now it's Tannehill off the bootleg, on the move to his left. This is caught, it's Woods. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Rolling to his left. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because... That gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guy. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Got it inside the 10, still not a first yet. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Titans look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left. And their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time. Because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him. But how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good. They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. And they are just not going to let up as he is into the end zone here for two more. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone on that offense knows it will sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. Third and two, now Ryan. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll get over just under 90 seconds remaining. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. This is fielded at the 27. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard. But they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives. And I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they get up a little bit right but now people continue to accelerate 
but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Tannehill going to throw it. He'll spot Woods on the comeback. He makes the catch. So they hit Pander, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. Tannehill. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And yeah, this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. And the Colts coming out now. At this point, partner, things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. I just what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny, I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of had this scenario, like, what feels good to you? What feels good to your team? You're down big. You really have, like, one possession left, and you're trying to put points on the board that don't matter. But do that? And he told me they actually do matter. And in this situation, he's going to try and run the best offense he can run, have at least a little bit of confidence to take away from that. So right now, they're going to try their best to get something up on the board and not get shut out. Third and long, it's Ryan. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was that they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, up a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for Tennessee, it's a much-needed victory as it gets them back to 2-4 and four on the year. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4 and four through seven games. And they will be back home next week for a date with Washington.